Like humans, fish come in all shapes and sizes. Many of the ones we eat are fairly small, low in mercury, and will not kill us. But there are some so big and occasionally dangerous that you almost cannot even begin to imagine how they were caught. <laughs> From a lobster the size of a human child to a near unthinkable giant catfish, here are the 15 biggest catches of all time. <sighs> Number 15. Huge Lobster It's hard enough to imagine what a 27-pound lobster would look like without thinking about the fishermen who had to lift it. But such is the life of a fisherman. It's a daily existence of pulling giant water creatures out of the water and hoping it's not going to kill you. This lobster is the largest ever caught in Maine, weighing 27 pounds and measuring in at around 40 inches. That puts it about the size of a three-year-old child. And experts say that it could pose quite the danger to an unfortunate human victim. Apparently, this lobster has so much weight and power in its claws that it could break your arm with minimal effort. So rare of a catch, the captain called Marine Patrol, which brought the lobster here. Talk about a humble brag. Apparently, the fishermen were so amused that they nicknamed this guy Rocky, presumably because of that deadly right claw? That joke would have killed if lobsters had hooks. While a record-breaking lobster is great, an arm-breaking lobster is not. So the fishermen smartly released the lobster back into the wild oceans, thereby preventing several broken arms and presumably quite a few lawsuits. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. It's time for the rare topic, and we have a big ol' slippery one for you today. When you catch an almost unimaginably big catch, it's not exactly easy to hide or conceal it from the public, which I presume is what happened with this humongous squid. The story behind the photo claims that a group of fishermen managed to lure it up to the surface, where they eventually caught it. Of course, there are quite a few logistical question marks in that story, namely how? But if the story is somehow true, this is easily one of the biggest squids ever caught. What do you think? Is this a real photo or something else entirely? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things a moving. Number 14. Giant Catfish the catfish has long had something of a reputation as a tricky species to catch, but this one surely took some extra work. Fishers working in Thailand managed to grab this unimaginably massive fish in the Mekong River in 2005. Frankly, I'm exhausted just trying to work out how they did it. Unsurprisingly, the process of bringing the fish in took a lot of time, over an hour to be specific. But when the fish was eventually pulled in and measured, it weighed an astonishing 646 pounds and measured almost 9 feet in length. That's not only bigger than your average human man, it's as big as a grizzly bear. Now, that is yet another of nature's bizarre experiments, right? Experts inspected the fish and concluded what all of us non-experts already knew. This was the largest freshwater fish ever recorded. I mean, you really needed an expert to know that? It's bigger than a basketball player. The catfish was so sensational that officials planned to use the fish for a breeding program, hoping to replicate or clone it. Unfortunately, the catfish died almost immediately. So the villagers ate it. Well, that feels like a nice anticlimactic place to end this topic. Number 13. Giant Whiptail Stingray 
It doesn't matter what kind of field you're in, it's a straight up fact that nobody gets more excited about world records than scientists. It's like they have a built in need to one up themselves, and sometimes they succeed. In 2015, scientists working in Thailand's Mekelong River discovered a huge stingray that they believed may well be the largest freshwater fish ever documented. But as with all world records, that is highly disputed by, well, everyone that catches fish. But at 7.9 feet wide, 14 feet long, and an estimated 700 to 800 pounds in weight, there's no denying that this is one huge fish. Stuff with it. We have uh, genetic samples, we've got the measurements, we put in an identification. So big, in fact, that the experts that helped recover it gave it a naturally creative nickname. The big one. Look, they're scientists, they're not professional nicknamers, you know? Give them a break. When you discover life-changing breakthroughs, you can criticize them. The ray was caught in around 65 feet of water and was released back into it pretty quickly afterward, because you don't have to hurt innocent animals to win world records. Obviously, they may not be good at nicknames, but they're great at handling animals. Number 12. Giant King Salmon the average human is around 137 pounds, give or take a few. This fish, the all-tackle world record king salmon, is 97 pounds. Yeah, this is a fish that weighs more than some humans. Can you believe that? The fish was caught in 1985 by Les Anderson of Alaska. The king salmon is the most treasured trophy of Alaska's waters who was fishing in the Kenai River when he caught this five-foot-long behemoth. Somehow, the Kenai was particularly famous for its giant kings during this period, despite being well-known primarily for its smaller salmon. Well, there's nothing small about this one, right? Apparently, the fish likely was much bigger when it was first caught. But to weigh it, the fish had to be transported on the back of a truck with the sun beaming down on it for seven hours on an unusually warm day in Alaska. A fish like this doesn't come around every day. And honestly, thank God. I'm not sure we could deal with the influx of hashtag big fish posts on our social media channels. Still, it's insane to catch a fish that likely weighs more than some humans. Now when it weighs more than a car, that's when nature's really out of control. Number 11. Bluefin Tuna how much would you pay for a tuna from the Tokyo fish market? You know, $20, $50, um, $3.1 million? Oh, you don't have that much money? Why are you at Tokyo fish market then? Hypothetical questions aside, this did actually happen. Pacific bluefin tuna. The auction took place Friday at Tokyo's famed fish market. Although the tuna was slightly more special than your average garden variety, at the 2019 pre-dawn auction, the 612 pound bluefin tuna was put up for bids and sparked an incredible bidding war between some of the hottest names in the Tokyo fish business. That sounds like a joke, but it really isn't. Kiyoshi Kimura, a sushi tycoon who owns a popular sushi zen mai chain of restaurants, paid the inconceivable sum to win and own this prized yet endangered specimen. It's not a bad idea. Japan is the world's biggest consumer of bluefin tuna, but its high rate of consumption has led to overfishing. As a result, bluefin tuna is looking at possible extinction. Of course, buying one big fish is not going to do anything to fix that problem, and I doubt a sushi tycoon would even even want to correct that problem, this is just another way to flash the cash and win a prize, which is one of the weirdest things I think I've ever said. Number 10. Swordfish if you've ever dreamed of catching a swordfish that may well break some world records, may I suggest a visit to the Florida Keys? This area of the world is especially rife with this famous species, and their big boys at to boot. In 2019, a couple headed from Cape Coral to Isla Morada in the hopes of catching some beautiful fish. 
I doubt that they ever expected it would turn out like this. While out on the water, their line snagged on something that felt mighty impressive. Eight hours later, with the fight finally won, they reeled it in to discover that the animal they caught was none other than a frankly insane-sized swordfish. When the fish was weighed, it came to a whopping 757.8 pounds, breaking the previous swordfish record of 672 pounds. That record incidentally also occurred in the Florida Keys, meaning this is the place to go if you want a swordfish catch. It's unlikely that this couple made the journey under the impression that they could possibly catch such a humongous and record-breaking specimen but then, maybe that's why people go to Florida Keys. What else do they have out there? Um, weather? Number 9. Humboldt Squid The squid is a fascinating creature. They grow incredibly quickly, but they only live for a single year. In that year, they reach their size peak, reproduce a whole bunch of times, and then die. I mean, it's not unlike the human experience, but in a year? In 2009, a couple headed to CQ Washington to catch some coho salmon. By now, you know that this was not what happened. While out on the water, the couple found their line snagged on something that felt slightly more substantial than your average salmon. Upon reeling it in, they noticed some odd-looking tentacles, a rubbery body, and just an altogether different animal. It was, of course, a giant Humboldt squid. While we have no idea how big the animal is or how much it weighs, you can see for yourself that this really is one of the big boys. Wow, that's Ice like balls. that's like the kind of excitement Ice and fishing balls. that you never thought you were going to oh, have, I swear. Game. This couple probably thought they'd go out on the water, catch a few salmon, and call it a day. But nature has a way of surprising you, and catching one of the biggest squid you've ever seen is pretty great great luck. Unless you don't like squid, then it's like a living nightmare. Number 8. Marlin Prepare yourself for this one, because this is insane. In Queensland, Australia, home of probably thousands of killer animals, one man managed to pull off the impossible, catching a fish that was very close to breaking the world record for the largest marlin. If this is not the biggest marlin, I cannot imagine how much the real victor weighs. This black marlin weighs 1,433 pounds. That is nuts. This fish weighed as much as the average cow and produced a new milk. Truly insane. The angler that caught it, Rob Crane, apparently spent two hours fighting with the fish in his attempt to reel it in. When he eventually did, the whole place turned into a media circus, with residents and young children posing for photographs alongside it. While many anglers like to eat the fish they catch, this one would have been pretty horrific. A fish this big is filled with so much mercury that the whole town would be wiped out from the poisoning. It'd make one hell of a who done it though. The fish did it. It is stunning that this is somehow not the biggest marlin the world has ever seen. A fish the size of a cow. And it is still not the biggest marlin in the world. What is happening? Number 7. Striped Bass for many families, nothing is more important than a nice trip out on the water to catch something. What exactly you may catch is a whole other thing, but it certainly is nice to just sit on the water and fight for several hours with a fish you'll just end up throwing back anyway. The Smedley family are one of many families that have fished in the same bay for decades. They have successfully managed to catch many fish over 40 and 50 pounds, though the big 60 pounders managed to avoid the feint of being caught. Good job, 60 pounds, John. I never got one over 60. Until, of course, their youngest son took a crack at fishing. He turned out to be the first of the family to catch a 60 pound fish, a striped bass, and a big one to boot. Not a bad first catch, you have to admit. Fishing can be difficult even at the best of times, but it's always nice to hear of families working together to catch some of the world's biggest fish. Maybe next time the kid can get one of those 1,500 pounders. Kick it into extra high gear, you know? Number 6. 
Goliath Grouper In the period that I've been producing these videos, I have seen some weird stuff. I mean, really weird stuff. Uh, I still have nightmares sometimes. But those things really pale in comparison to this. This is… I mean, what the hell is this? A group of fishermen headed out onto Florida waters with one very clear mission in mind. Catch and release a goliath grouper that weighed more than their boat. That's, a, that's, that's 300. That's, that's 300 almost. He's not as big as the boat. I have no idea why they wanted to do this and I'm really not educated enough to speculate, but I imagine it had something to do with alcohol. Anyway, knowing that their boat's hull weighed 550 pounds, they headed off in search of a giant grouper. And oh boy, did they find one. This freaky looking behemoth is estimated to weigh between 600 and 700 pounds, which is heavier than the boat itself, but man. Does it look freaky or what? The Goliath grouper is a fish that almost looks like it's been made in a studio somewhere in Hollywood. But apparently it's very real. And for some reason, fishermen are very enthusiastic about finding fish that could, in theory, bring down their own boats. Don't drink and sink, folks. Number 5. Alligator Gar if, like me, you had never even heard of the alligator gar, well, you're as uneducated on fish as I am. But apparently this is a long, slim fish, one of the largest freshwater fishes that can be found in North America. And they're popular with, uh, YouTube? Fishermen, these guys decided to head out in search of alligator gar because these are the kind of things that you do when you're fishing for YouTube likes. Heh, <laughs> see what I did there? Anyway, the guys happened to reel in what was apparently the biggest alligator gar that any of them had ever seen. Given that they're all somewhat experienced and slash or professional fishermen, okay, so what we're fat. gonna do from here is I'm gonna take her where she's swimming and then give right. her to you. Yeah, I don't wanna. They don't say that lightly. The fish weighed around 230 pounds and measured 92 inches in length, which is apparently unheard of in alligator gars. Again, everything I know about fish, I learned from Finding Nemo. If there's one thing we've learned from this topic, it's that there are big old alligator gar in the United States. What we can do with that information is unclear. Maybe the YouTube fishermen out there could get something from it. Go fishing for positive comments and leave some for us, please? Is that fishing? Am I fishing? Anyway, next topic. Number 4. Yellowfin Tuna if there's one thing that we can be sure of in the world of fish, it's this. People love tuna. It's probably one of the only things that people from all over the world can agree on. And for some anglers, they're a real joy to catch as well as to eat. In 2012, angler John Petruscu made his first long-range fishing excursion in the hopes of catching something impressive. Little did he know that he would later be reeling in the biggest yellowfin tuna ever caught on a rod and reel. When the fish was eventually reeled in, it weighed a whopping 440 five pounds. Largest yellowfin tuna ever brought in, 444, 445 pounds. Over 17 pounds heavier than the previous record holder. Unfortunately, this world record was voided because, and I quote, a crewman grabbed the rod to help manage the fish, which apparently rendered the whole thing null and void. Once again, pointless bureaucracy comes in to take away a great thing. Thanks, lawyers. While it may not hold the current world record, this fish is one of only four known angler caught yellowfin tuna weighing over 400 pounds. And, world record or not, that's still a pretty fantastic achievement. Number 3. Great White Shark any fisherman will tell you. Catching a shark is terrifying. Actually, they won't tell you that. Fishers are really daredevils in disguise. They thrive on catching these dangerous, unpredictable type of animals, so when they manage to catch a great white that weighs over 2,000 pounds, the response is joy. In 2019, a massive great white shark was spotted swimming along the east coast of the United States. 
can do We've already got the parasites unless we need more. Is there any more? Red, were you able to get plastic? OSEARCH, a nonprofit organization that tracks marine life around the United States, worked with their professionals to catch the shark and tag it, thereby allowing them to keep an eye on where she is. Of course, catching a shark that weighs over 2,000 pounds and measures over 15 feet long is not an easy accomplishment. But when they managed to successfully tag her, people were naturally thrilled. Catching a fish to tag them is a very different experience from that of hobbyists or fishermen. This is, usually, a much more dangerous process and has to be orchestrated with a careful hand. Or you could just dive in and do your best not to get eaten. Either works, really. Number 2. Warsaw Grouper how can you tell how old a fish is? It's complicated. It is too complicated for me to summarize in a few seconds. But trust me, some people can do it, and they're probably right. How am I supposed to know? I'm just here to tell you stuff and make bad jokes. In 2020, a 350-pound Warsaw grouper was caught by hook and line off the coast of southwest Florida. Soon after, biologists studying the fish at the FWRI's Age and Growth Lab estimated the age at 50 years old. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean the grouper was in the throes of a midlife crisis, but it does mean that this is the oldest sample collected for the organization's aging program. Apparently, samples from older fish are extremely rare, which, if you ask me, is a classic case of ocean-based ageism. It will surprise nobody that a 50-year-old 350-pound fish made headlines. After all, you just have to look at the news on an average day, and you'll find a 50-year-old 350-pound something on the cover. So how can you work out the age of a fish? I think you just guess. Who's going to prove you wrong? The fish's mother? Come on. Number 1. Mahi Mahi How much of your day would you be willing to give up to catch one of the biggest fish in the world? 10 minutes? 2 hours? 12 days? I imagine all of those have been done at some point, but for this angler, he spent just 25 minutes to reel in a record-breaking fish. Jeff Wright spent his 25 minutes trying to reel in an unusually difficult fish off the coast of Ocean City, Maryland. As the fish came closer, he realized that this was not an ordinary catch. This was an extraordinary big mahi-mahi. When he finally brought it in, the fish was weighed at an unbelievable 72.8 pounds, nabbing the record for the heaviest common dolphin fish, or mahi-mahi, in Maryland. Not bad for a guy who was just practicing for a marlin tournament. What began as your average casual afternoon hobby ended up as a record-breaking day, which is really impressive. I can only hope that when I'm practicing for an upcoming jigsaw puzzle tournament, I'll accidentally catch an insane 156-pound mahi-mahi. Come on, it could happen. To our angler viewers, what is the biggest fish you have ever caught? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.